Hello guys, welcome to Science Learning Gateway. So I came up today with a new video for you all. Just to wish you all a happy Makar Sakranti and also tell you about the significance as well as the importance of Makar Sakranti. So let's uh, look at the significance and importance of Makar, Makar Sakranti in this video. So let's see. As you all know that India is known for its cultural diversity. While moving from north to south of India and from east to west, you will come across different and unique cultures and traditions as one such tradition is celebration of Makar Sakranti, which is known by different names across the Indian states. Makar Sakranti is a Hindu harvest festival dedicated to Surya Deva that is the sun god. The festival of Makar Sakranti is also a way of welcoming spring after the winter months. It is usually celebrated on 15th, on 14th or 15th of Jan with the, with the beginning of the Hindu month of Makra every year. And the festivities include kite flying, bonfire fairs, Surya Puja in the river, then Ganga bath, etc. So let me tell you first that why is Makar Shakranti celebrated? Makar Sakranti marks the first day of sun's transit into Makra, that is Capricorn zodiac sign, marking the end of winter and beginning of warmer and longer days. If Sakranti Chaturthi falls on Tuesday, it is called Angarakhi Chaturthi and is considered highly auspicious. Makar Sakranti is only Indian festival that is celebrated according to the solar cycles, while most festivals follow the lunar cycles of the Hindu calendar. Hence, it almost always falls on the same Georgian date every year that is on 14th or 15th and rarely does the date shift by a bar or so. If we talk about Diwali, the Diwali is celebrated all across India while with the great joy and celebration. But Makkah Sakranti has great cultural, historical and spiritual significance which is only enhanced by the, by the variety it takes in a country rich in diversity. Sakranti is celebrated in almost all parts of India with distinct names. Here are some of the examples which I am giving you. In Tamil Nadu, it is celebrated as Thai Pongal. In Gujarat, it is celebrated as Uttarayan. In Punjab, Lori. In Bengal, Posh Sakranti. In Karnataka, Suggi Habba. In Odisha, it's known as Makar Chola. In Maharashtra and Haryana, it is known as Maghi Sakranti. In Assam, it is known as Magh Bogali or Bihu. In Kashmir, it is known as Shishur Sankranti. In UP, in Bihar, Khichdi Parav. And in Jharkhand, it is known as Toshu Parav. So look at, let's look at uh, how people over there in uh, different states celebrate uh, Makar Sakranti. So people celebrate Makar Sakranti in Maharashtra by exchanging Til Gud as tokens of goodwill. People greet each other uh, Accept these sweets and, uh, and utter sweet words. The underlying thought is to forgive and forget the past ill feelings, resolve the conflict, speak sweetly and remain friends. Women come together and perform a special Haldi Kumkum ceremony. Now, in Gujarat, Makar Sakranti is also known as Uttarayan in Gujarat and is celebrated for two days. The first day is Uttarayan and the next day is Vasi Uttarayan. The Gujarati people celebrate it with with flying the kites, having uh, delicious dishes and the dishes made up of peanuts and jaggery. In Andhra Pradesh, Makar Sakranti is celebrated for three days. The first date is known as Bhogi Punduga, second date is known as Peda Punduga and the third day is known as Kanuma. And Punjab, uh, Makar Sakranti is celebrated as Lohri and uh, the people over there celebrate it with the uh, vibrancy, dance and color. Lori is celebrated at the night before Sakranti or Maghi. The people fondly sing the famous folk song. Farmers start their financial new year on the day after Maghi. In Karnataka, Makar Sakranti Sak Sakranti is called Illu Birodu where women exchange Illu Bela. Uh, with at least 10 families. At this time, this uh, Kannada saying is popular, Illu Bela Tindu Ole Mathadi, meaning eat the mixture of sesame seeds and jaggery and speak good and it speak only good. Farmers celebrate as Sugi or Harvest Festival and decorate their bulls and cows in colorful costumes. Farmers jump over fire along with their bulls in a ritual 
रिच इन अ रिचुअल कॉल्ड किचू या वेस्तू इन केरला मकर संक्रांति सेलिब्रेटेड एज थाउजेंड थ्रॉक टू सी द मकरा विलाको फ्लेम ऑन पुंदा मिलोरू हिल नियर द सिरी भला नियर द सबारी मला टेम्पल वेर द मकरा ज्योति द सेलेस्टियल स्टार अपियर्स इन द स्काई द बिलीफ इज दैट लॉर्ड अयप्पा स्वामी शोज हिज प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दिस सेलेस्टियल लाइटिंग एंड ब्लेस्ड इज डिवोटीज नाउ इन बिहार on the in bihar and jharkhand on the first day people bath in rivers and ponds and feast upon seasonal dishes made with til and gud as a celebration of good harvest kite flying is again something to look forward to the second day is celebrated as makarat where people relish special khichdi which is served with chokha papad ghee and achar makar sankranti is a festival that makes you look forward to kite sweets made with sesame seeds and jaggery prayers harvest bonfires and longer warmer days witness this diverse celebration across the country and let you know let you know your unique makar sankranti experience let's once discuss about the about the common rituals of makar sankranti sankranti is celebrated usually for 3 to 4 days with each day having a set of rituals associated with it kite flying the sky is filled with colorful kites during the day and sky lanterns at night folk songs and dances around bonfires which is called bogi in andhra pradesh lohri in punjab and meji in assam harvesting of crops like new paddy and sugarcane that is also done during uh, this makar sankranti people bathe in holy rivers especially the ganga yamuna godavari krishna and kaveri this is believed to wash up past sins the offering of prayers for success and prosperity to the to the sun god who is regarded as the symbol of divinity and wisdom some of the world's largest pilgrimages like kumbh mela ganga sagar mela and makara mela are held exchange of food made with jaggery and sesame seeds that keeps the body warm and provide oil is needed as winter dry up dries up the moisture from the body so these were the rituals which usually is done during the makar sankranti even our neighboring countries they too celebrate makar sankranti although they too have different names for the festivities in nepal it's called maghe sankranti thailand calls it sonkran and in myanmar it is thingyan while in cambodia local celebrate munga mohan songarakan festivities festivities makar sankranti is considered to be an important day for spiritual practice and people usually take a deep holy deep holy river such as yanga yamuna krishna godavari and kaveri this ritual is believed to result in merit or absorption of the past sins they also pray to the sun and thank for their success and pro- and prosperity so this was all about a brief history importance as well as the significance of makar sankranti and also we have discussed that in different state uh, this makar sankranti is how it is celebrated and what is its call in different states of india that also we have discussed in this video so i wish you all and your family a very happy makar sankranti hope this makar sankranti connects you to the brightest of moments and may you reach new heights as the kites do in the auspicious occasion adding charm to your celebration have a cheerful uttrayan may god bless you and your family with every bit of happiness prosperity kindness in the world wish you all a ha- very happy makar sankranti 2022 thank you for watching this video if this video if you all like this video then please click on the like button and uh, if you are new to my channel then please subscribe to it subscribe to it thank you for watching